One metro school district is looking to get more money for their students, but it means higher taxes for you. Brenda Lee Gonzalez is live at the Greeley at in Greeley at Mart Martinez Elementary School, where the district is now laying out its plan in a meeting. Now, how are they planning to use this money, Brenda Lee? Well, they want more computers and faster internet speeds. And some school students are having to wait up to 20 minutes just to upload something. But they've already asked for money before, back in 2009, and voters said no. Now they're asking for a second chance. Our students deserve to have more here. Right now, every one of these Greeley Evans District students gets close to $7,000 from state funding. That's some 2,000 less than districts like Boulder and Denver. The state has struggled with fully funding education throughout the state. Superintendent DJ Pilch says they're doing well with what they have. Our kids are excelling. But they could do even more with more computers and textbooks that aren't a decade old. Pilch hopes to get this equipment not from the state, but with property tax dollars. The needs have gone as high as $25 million a year that, that we are no longer getting from the state of Colorado. The district is looking to ask for up to $12 million, which comes out to about $150 a year from someone with a $200,000 home. I look at my kids' future, and so we need an educated workforce to attract industry. Kenneth Watts has a kid and a grandchild in the district. He's on the committee that will help the school board decide whether to put the mill levy up for a public vote this November. And when I see the, the, the budget that the state gives us to operate on, it's almost criminal. <laughs> we definitely need this. Pilch agrees. Her students are worth it. This is our community, and this will be an investment in our children. Pill says she's already had to make cuts. She's cut 11 administrative positions for next year. That's one of the things they're going to be discussing here tonight. For a full list of when and where other meetings will take place, check out our website, thedenverchannel.com. Reporting live, Brenda Lee Gonzalez, Denver 7.